So to me, my answer is not to ban hip hop per se, um, it's to drain it of its power and to shrink the demand so that artists are forced to go and do something different. Um, that, that's how I would address it. And, and I think having more people who say those things publicly um, instead of what we have now, which are, and, and I'll, I'll quote from one of my earlier pieces, cultural geldings, right? Jason, you're a sports guy, so you know a gelding is, is, a, is a male horse that's been castrated. And they castrate horses so that they, be, so that they would be more docile and well-behaved. And that's what many of the men in our community are like, particularly the public figures in, in our community are like. They will never say anything publicly that's critical of uh, whether it's Lil Nas X or Cardi B. Um, they may say it privately. There's no way that the Obamas want Sasha Malia to emulate Cardi B. They'll never say that publicly. But um, I think we need more people who, who are willing to speak up and, and call a thing a thing. Because I was watching, you know, a couple months ago, ABC aired the show Soul of a Nation. They talked about, you know, about the state of black America in 2021. They went back 100 years to talk about Birth of a Nation. And they said it was, you know, a racist film that, that depicted, um, you know, black folk as, as violent and, and you know, um, uh, lustful. Still has impact no, today. Yeah. Right. Now, they'll say that that, that that movie from over 100 years ago still has impact today, but they won't address the impact of, of hip hop culture and particularly gangster rap over the last 30 years. So th these are not people to be to be taken seriously. You, you said so much there, and I don't even know if I should get lost in this side point <laughs> I want to make, but I, I'm just going to make it because uh, it, it was interesting and crossed my mind. You talked about geldings and, and that black men basically have been castrated. And I thought about uh, when you said that, there was a popular TV show on HBO called Game of Thrones. If you haven't watched it, I'm sure you heard of it. Mm -hmm. And the only black characters on there, basically black men, were geldings, they were eunuchs. Eunuchs. They mm -hmm. were men without members. And Game of Thrones was, to me, a television show that if you got beyond the sorcery and all the little magical stuff. It was basically about what people will do for power, and they'll do anything for power. And it was basically kind of an explanation of where we are in America and in, glo in, the, in the culture globally, that we're at a time where people, one guy burned his daughter at a stake. Uh, Stannis, I think Baratheon, I <laughs> think burned his daughter at a stake in order to get power. And so it was just like, we will do anything for power.